All right, this video is about the feed that I use for my flock um, and rabbits even. Um, as you can tell, there are quite a few different feeds. Um, I have a lot of animals, a lot of different types of animals, so they do require different feeds. Um, starting on this end, this is a flock raiser. It is a 20% crumble. Um, I'm able to feed this to chickens. I'm able to feed this to turkeys. Um, I don't feed it to my ducks. Ducks do require a certain type of feed. Um, this is okay for them, but it's not the best source of feed for ducks. Um, but if you have a mixed flock that have ducks in it, there's absolutely nothing wrong with feeding this feed. Um, next, we have Perina Start and Grow. I use the medicated in an attempt to prevent um, coccidiosis. Um, it is a terrible, terrible parasite that you don't want anything to do with. And since I hatch, and sell quite a few chicks every year, um, I choose to go with the medicated. Um, feeding the non-medicated feed is totally okay. Um, it's just not what I choose to do because of what I do um, with baby chicks. Um, game bird feed is the next feed. It's a 30% protein feed. Now this is actually a starter feed as well. However, I keep my quail on this feed for their entire life. Um, they seem to do better laying um, and they grow out extremely fast on this feed. Um, it does like the calcium that the layer feed would have, so I supplement calcium by either putting eggshells um, or oyster shells into their feed, and then I also add omega-3 um, egg maker into this game bird feed for my adult quail, not for my babies. Um, but this feed here can also be fed to baby turkeys when I hatch those out. Um, I don't regularly hatch turkeys, but I do from time to time. Um, so it is a multi-purpose feed around here as well. Um, next is this Laina feed. Um, it's also a crumble. It's 16% protein. It's made by Purina as well. This is what I feed my layers that produce eggs for me. Um, they produce very, very well on this feed. Um, it is oyster strong. However, I still supplement eggshells and oyster shells to them to, because I want to ensure that they are getting enough calcium in their diet. Um, they still eat them uh, regularly, so apparently from what that tells me is that this feed does not have the amount of calcium that they need, because if it did, they would not consume much of the oyster shells. Um, so that's something that you have to keep in mind, that just because you're buying this feed, um, you may still have to supplement. Um, down here underneath this feed is my MFM rabbit feed. My rabbits do very, very well on this feed. This is one feed that I do not buy at Tractor Supply. Um, Tractor Supply does not carry MFM, or at least my local Tractor Supply doesn't. My rabbits do extremely well on this feed. Um, so that is the feed I chose and I have stuck with for quite some time now. This Neutrina Nature Wise feed is a meat bird feed. Um, it's a 22% crumble as well. Um, I only have this feed in the spring and the fall. I raise two batches of meat chickens every year, um, and I only keep this feed when I have meat chickens, which I happen to have them right now, and we will be butchering those in a week, um, this weekend actually, so less than a week. Um, so that feed will, will go away out of my stack after that. Um, next is a Purina duck pellet. Um, this is the only pellet that I feed actually, um, with the exception of the rabbit pellets. Um, but duck feed, from what I know of, it does not come in a crumble, or at least I have never seen it. Um, my feed stores don't carry a crumble. Um, and it doesn't say the protein content on this, so I am not sure. I would assume it's somewhere around the 15 to 18% more than likely. Um, but it is formulated specifically for a duck's diet. Um, it's everything that they need to stay strong and healthy. And then lastly is scratch grain. This is something that my ladies get only in the winter. Um, I don't feed scratch grains in the summer because scratch grains are a hot food. Um, it causes chickens to heat up and in the summer um, when it's 100 to 115 degrees outside, I don't need them to be any hotter than what they already are. Um, but in the winter time, it does help keep them warm. They love scratch. They go crazy over scratch. Um, they get that scratch only in their second feeding. I feed once in the morning and then I feed in the evening as well. Um, give them one scoop, mix it with their layer feed, um, and they are happy as can be. So they don't get a lot of it, but they do get a little bit there. Um, all of these feeds, with the exception of my rabbit feed, I purchased at Tractor Supply. 
Um, the reason I do that is because that is what is close to me and available. Um, I do have a downtown feed store, um, which is where I get the rabbit feed, but they don't carry a lot of feed and a lot of their feed that they do carry is very, very, very overpriced. So Tractor Supply is my go-to. Um, there are some other brands that I wish I had in my area, but I don't. I'm aware that I can order them online. Um, I don't do that because I want to keep my chickens on a feed and be able to stick with it. And if I'm starting to order feed and then for some reason I can't get it delivered um, or it's out of stock or something like that, um, then I'm going to have to switch my feed. With buying feed at Tractor Supply, if my local Tractor Supply doesn't have it, then I can easily drive to another Tractor Supply and be able to get the same feed without having to switch my chicken's diet. Um, so that is the reason why I do that. The majority of these feeds are between 20 um, to about $26 um, per bag, um, depending on how many chickens and ducks and turkeys and all of that that you have. Depends on how long it lasts. The majority of these feeds though are 50 pounds. Um, the flock raiser is a 50 pound bag. This chick feed is a 50 pound bag. Now the game bird feed is only 40 pounds. Um, my layer crumble is a 50 pound bag. My rabbit feed is also a 50 pound bag. My game bird is 40, the duck is 40, and the scratch grain is a 50 pound bag. Um, but 20 to $26 for 40 to 50 pounds of feed is what you're gonna be looking at if you choose to go with these feeds. Um, but I do suggest if you're getting into chickens, ducks, turkeys, quail, rabbits, whatever it is, check your feed stores, see what they have, do your research on your feed, um, find out what you like about it, what you don't like about it, but go with something that is close to you that you can easily get your hands on. Um, there are times of the year when it's harder to get feeds than others. Um, shortages in the spring, there's a lot of people buying baby chicks and you will start to notice that there is less feed on the shelf than usual. Um, so if you're going with a feed that is kind of hard to get a hold of or a little more rare that they don't order as often, um, you may not be able to easily get it. Um, so choose wisely when you choose your feed, but do research. Look it up online, look at reviews, and see what's going to work best for you and your flock. Um, thank you for watching, and if you like this video, please subscribe.